Hello everybody, this is Diane. As you can see, I hope you can tell that this is going to be a baby journal, a baby boy journal. My supervisor had asked me to make a baby boy journal for someone in her family who is going to have a baby in July. Um, I don't normally like to do commissions. Um, I would rather just make journals with the supplies I have and the journals that I'm interested in and put them in my shop and whoever likes them can buy them. But I did want to um, make one for my supervisor since she asked. The trouble was that I had um, already sold, I put together baby kits and sold all of my baby journal supplies because I had decided with all of the journals that I have on my list to make, um, I decided baby journals weren't priority. So I disposed of them all. So here I am trying to find things that I can make a baby journal with. And um, I had popped on to one of Nancy's live uh, videos that she did and um, she's Wishes and Weeds. And just for a few minutes, once in a great while, I'll pop on to one just to say hi if it's, you know, one of my friends that's doing the the live. But I don't I don't sit and watch the whole thing. But I popped on to say hi, and um, she was doing a baby book. So I wrote in the comments that I was going to be doing one, but I had to figure out supplies. And one of the nice people that was watching her, uh, her name is Fawn, and she said that she had some stuff that she would love to send to me. So she asked for my address. We private messaged, and lo and behold, she sent me this package. Not all of this, but... I started um, going through my stuff to see what I had, and I know I've got plenty now. And I started cutting some of the things that I had, and I thought I should show you what came in the pack from Fawn before I get it all mixed up. So I didn't have a book cover either. I, I had some really nice vintage book covers and um, really nice vintage supplies that I put in those baby packs that I sold. but I So I didn't have a baby cover to use or, or anything that was suitable except I found this blue and white Reader's Digest book cover and it's going to be a small journal because this is not a big cover. And then I have this digital. I didn't purchase a digital. I already had some. Of course I can't get rid of those. There, I have those. I bought them so I can use them anytime. Which is a good thing. I love this. This just reminds me of the decals that were on baby cribs and high chairs and things in the 50s. And I was born in 57, so, you know, my sisters, my younger sisters had the crib. I'm sure I did too, but I don't remember it. So anyway, that's what these kind of images remind me of. So I cut this out of one of the digitals that I had, and I just backed it on a little bit of gray cardstock and glued it on there and I think that makes a very nice baby book cover. Let me just show you what Fawn sent me. This is a 6x6 six six card with blue bunnies on it. Uh, blue with white bunnies. These are little vellum stickers which are really awesome. They have milestones on them so either I can include this, just put this um, sheet in in it in her pack and she can put the stickers where she wants to write about those things or I can just put them on the pages. Um, these are some highly embossed pieces of paper which are really pretty. I don't know if I'll use them in this book but I will use them because I like them. She sent me this baby blue yarn. Um, of all the gifts to the human race, what is sweeter than a child? And these are stickers, I believe. Um, these two little chipboard tags are really cute. This is a metal rimmed tag, vellum tag. I love this long skinny flash card. So I don't, unless I fold this and use it folded somehow, I might have to use that in a different project because that book is small. Um, these are some clear stickers. Here's a Christmas card with Mary and baby Jesus. There's another 6x6 six six piece of paper. Lighting isn't very good in here, is it? I see shadows. 
Here's a card with stars on it. It says date. An envelope, a square envelope. She sent me some book pages, including some children's poems, some Dick and Jane. This from a golden book about baby animals, which is so precious. Um, scrap of wallpaper. Um, scrap of paper. There's some tissue paper with some silhouettes on it. Another oh, two envelopes. These have a perforation right here and then there would still be a flap that folds. I'm not really sure what they're for. Why would there be a perforation on it? Because I don't know what type of envelope they are but they're really neat and I want to play with them. These are some rub-ons which are really cool with buttons and diaper pins and little smiley flowers. Some gift wrap with baby shower umbrellas. Um, here's another piece of gift wrap with pacifiers. It says, hush little baby, don't you cry. That's a big piece of gift wrap here too. I love this one. And it's a good size piece. It's folded. It's like, it's a full sheet. But look at those precious animals. Look at that zebra. I just, I can't even deal with how cute they are. They're so precious. Here's a piece of paper stationery. It has campers and tents with pretty um, light blue and tan colors. A children's card. This looks like it. No, I guess it doesn't. This has a blue design and the tan design though. These pages came out of a vintage um, baby record book. I don't know if you can still buy them, but I had them for each of my kids. And I'll tell you, my son was my first child, and I filled his up, and my daughters didn't have much in it. <laughs> we, they were uh, less than two years apart, and yeah, you don't get much done when you have two little ones like that. So this is a page about holidays, um, baby's first birthday, comments and impressions of family and friends, birth announcement, and newspaper clippings. So those are cute pages. I'll have to cut them down quite a bit because the book I've chosen is small. Some more poetry. Um, this is a page from Somerset Life and a coloring page with a precious moment teddy bear on it. Some more gift wrap. Teddy bears. Happy first birthday. Here's Wee Willy Winky. Isn't that cute? So this is a children's book with some poems. Hush Little Baby. Peter Rabbit. There's another Peter Rabbit page. Sesame Street. Um, looks like an elf. Another gift wrap with Noah's Ark. Some birthday station um, scrapbook paper. It's a scrapbook paper. More tissue paper with the frames. Some vellum. Love this vellum. I'm going to try to make pockets with that and some scrapbook paper. So I had already pulled some blues and greens out of my stash and these look really nice with what I pulled so I will use what she sent me. I love the blocks. This peeled paint. And this looks like a quilt, white quilt. I love that. So I'll use those pages and then some of what I pulled. So the rest is mine. I bought this at Walmart before she sent me stuff. I mean, I knew she was sending it. She told me she was, but I didn't know what she was sending and I needed to get started on it. And I was at Walmart and I saw these and I bought them. Aren't they cute? Look at the teddy bear diaper pins. And these are a little bit dimensional. And I don't usually like to use a lot of stickers, but I think for the baby book, they're gonna be great. These are more of the printables that I had. So these go with the piece that I used on the cover. Got these little cards. I love the baby animals. And then these tickets. And that banner. And these um, came with a different set. I didn't cut out the baby girl ones because I'm only using the baby boy ones. Uh, I found this pattern in my stash of teddy bears and bunnies. I might be able to use some of that. This little scrap of of um, baby gift wrap that I missed when I was putting my kits together. Look at that one. 
he has to go in this journal. Look at that one sleeping. So precious. And then I'm using these kits that I purchased. Um, this is from the old design shop and I printed them on the front and back. So these are pages from a vintage children's book. And I didn't print all of them because I had this other kit I wanted to use. But I did print some. So I'll use those. And then these, which are also... Um, they have darling illustrations, but also has spaces for the parents to write information about the baby when they discovered their hand, the baby discovered his hand, when he could pick up items or grasp items, recognize mother, recognize father, um, weight at different stages, things like that, first haircut, first steps. And these are a nice size. This is the size they come when you print them, and they're a nice size for this book. These, I think I'm going to have to trim a little bit because they're just, it does fit in there, but it's closer than I like. So I'll probably just trim just a tiny bit. I have these pieces of wallpaper with the little animals. I had some knitting books that I think it was Debbie Savage sent me. So I found some um, baby images, booties and sweaters and things. And this was from a catalog that I had, an old catalog, Spiegel or something. So I can use those for something. And I have a Winnie the Pooh songbook. I took some pages out of that because I thought that was adorable. And then the scrapbook papers that I pulled. So that's what I have to work with. That's more than enough, more than enough to make this journal now. So it's getting late in the day and I didn't really get to accomplish very much today. But I spent some time talking to my parents on the phone. I got to talk to my daughter today. I I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I, I did great by falling asleep before midnight, but I woke up at 4, 4 o'clock and couldn't get back to sleep. So at 4.45, I got up and I came in here and I finished putting my glue book covers together. I have three glue books completed, but I still have three, the bookhouse ones to do. So at four, between 4.45 and 6 o'clock this morning, I was putting these covers together. And now they are ready for me to sew the signatures in, which I'll do this evening while I watch TV. So then I can list glue books in my shop. So, I don't know, it's just been a weird day. you know. And then I went back to bed at 6 o'clock. I went back to bed and slept for another hour, hour and a half. So it's just been a really weird day, and I feel like I haven't really accomplished much. So, anyway, I got this stuff out and kind of sorted through it and cut some images out, so I feel like I'm ready to dig into this tomorrow. So this will be my project to start tomorrow, but I did want to show you um, the things that Fawn sent me and say thank you very, very, very much, Fawn. It was very generous of you, and it really rounded out the things that I did have and it's going to make this baby journal really nice. One thing I'm nervous about with making this journal is my supervisor really doesn't know anything about junk journals. She's only seen a couple of mine and one of them was a Harry Potter journal which isn't typical of what I do and I don't even remember. I made one for her. Like she asked me for one and I made it and I don't even remember what it was, what kind of journal it was. So I'm not sure that she really understands what a junk journal is and the vintage, you know, the eclectic vintage look to the journals that I make. And the person that's going to receive it probably knows even less because she's never seen any of the ones that I've made. So that makes me a little nervous because she, I mean, this part is great. I love that. But then, you know, why is that page sideways and why is this old thing in here? And I, I don't know, wallpaper and wrapping paper. So anyway, I'm going to make it. 
I hope she likes it. Another thing I wanted to add is some chenille. So I got into my chenille and pulled out blues and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. Most of my chenille is pink, so I, I'm glad I have these. And some of these pieces came to me from, isn't that pretty? Came to me from my friend Sarah, who has um, her shop, Me and My Son Treasures. Me and My Son. Me and My Son something. Is it Treasures? I don't remember. Anyway. She has sent me some chenille a couple of times, so thank you, Sarah, for that. So with other people's help, I am getting this journal ready to be put together. So I guess that's enough rambling from me. I'm going to close this out. It's going to be, obviously, a short video today, but thank you for watching, and come on back to either see some of the process of the baby journal or to see the completed journal. I'll be back again soon. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.